G'day all, it's Brother Blonde. Welcome to a vlog that I haven't done for a long, 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 long time. And if you look down there, you can see an orange light and a flashing fuel symbol. So I'm going to go and get some fuel, some petrol, some gasoline, some gas, go juice. But I'm just going to check, how's my back tyre? Oh, it's, oh, oh, yuck, a Rooney. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. We had a, a huge storm the other day which knocked trees down and damaged houses and roofs and tiles and things. Obviously blew a lot of uh, debris around the bike. And I didn't notice until just then when I started to move that it just, when I was... Um, just coasting down that the hill of the driveway with the clutch in it just felt like it was uh, straining a bit and I looked down I thought the tire was flat and there's all this paper stuck in the chain which is not good so I'm going to remove it oh yeah that's Oh, that's very not good. Just have a look here at all the crap I got from the chain. Ah, oh, yuck, I'm hot and sweaty now after cleaning that chain. It's all part of the glamour of riding a bike, Brother Blonde. Don't be such a sook. Nobody wants to watch this crap. Everybody knows how to put gloves on. Jeez. And if that gets uploaded, it just shows that you are too lazy to edit it out. Take two, g'day all, brother. It's brother. Nah, take three, g'day all, it's brother blonde. Not g'day all, brother blonde. It's g'day, it's. Ah. Oh. See, it's been such a long time since I've done a vlog, I don't even know how to say hello anymore. What's this car doing? He's not going to back up, is he? Nope. Okay. Oh, well, that was fun, boys and girls, cleaning all that uh, rubbish out of my chain. Um, a week ago, Thursday week ago, um, we had an incredible storm pass through our area, and it was almost like a mini tornado. Uh, three houses in our street were damaged, one of them seriously with uh, this branch sticking through the, the ceiling and this, this big branch off the tree coming right through the window right where someone was sitting about a minute prior to the thing coming through. So she was incredibly lucky. Uh, next door to us uh, had a little bit of tile damage and um, we, the only damage we had was a hole in our trampoline which is minor compared to having a, a hole in your house. Anyway, the insurance company are going to furnish us with a new trampoline and hopefully they'll, uh, they'll be good for the people with major damage as well. So anyway, obviously all that wind blew some paper into my, um, or under my bike and I couldn't see it so as I started to move off uh, it must have just been sticking on the chain and went up through the sprocket and uh, that's when I noticed it was very very um, uh, jerky when I was just rolling down the, the driveway then so hence I cleaned it and there's my light back on again so I'm going to fill her up with petrol and talk to you again soon alrighty that was uh, $14.30 12 litre 12 six eight liters and it's a 15 liter tank and I did 292 kilometers so let's call it 13 liters and 300 k's so you do the math work out how many liters per hundred well a third what's a third of 13 uh, four and a bit so about four and a bit liters per hundred kilometers yeah it's not bad I suppose which actually brings me to an interesting point that I'm about to make. Um, 
petrol, buying petrol, using things that use petrol. Um, we are looking at, when I say we, I say the boss and I, Mrs. Brother Blonde. are looking at this year um, buying an electric car. Now I'd love to be able to tell you that we're getting a Tesla Model S, but we're not, we can't afford one of those yet. I say yet. Um, we're looking at getting a Nissan Leaf, the uh, 2016 model with the 30 kilowatt hour battery, if any of you are familiar with that at all. And that will be our sort of general run around kind of car which at the moment we're using a Kia Cerato for which is a great car but um, it's leased and it's lease runs out in another few months and we were looking around what will we get and we really want to go um, renewable energy not sort of totally green we're not tree huggers or anything like that um, but we want to get something that uh, it's not going to have any impact on the environment at all and we figured zero emissions is a good start. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is uh, increase our number of solar panels. At the moment we have 1850 watt solar panels which uh, in New South Wales, in Australia, um, we're on a system whereby all of that energy gets fed back into the grid. Now it's a three kilowatt system and at the moment it's feeding anything up to about 19 kilowatt hours back into the grid which we don't have to pay for and in fact the government or the, the um, uh, energy company are paying us back three times what we're actually paying for electricity. Now as you know or some of you would know we've got about a million and a half kids and um, we're still using more electricity than we're feeding back into the grid, so we still have to pay for it, but it basically halves our electricity bill at the moment. But what I've just signed off on is an additional system with uh, an, a further 23 panels of 265 watts. That is a 6 kilowatt system, and that'll be on a, a, a different uh, meter to the current one, and that'll uh, that'll... Oh, God, this rain's horrible and I didn't bring my wets. That's really clever. Oh well, I'm now wet. Um, that will go a long way to um, providing the majority of elect our electricity needs. And then at the end of the year when we come off this uh, 60 cent tariff, uh, the existing system will get converted to a net system and so we'll basically have a nine kilowatt hour system which will hopefully provide all that electricity and anything that anything over and above that will we obviously buy it from the grid and any surplus that is produced will get sent back to the grid but we won't get any money for that it'll also help charge up the uh, car and if we can charge the car for free well hallelujah happy with that so essentially we're going to have three sides of our roof completely covered in solar panels now it's a really weird shaped roof it's not just like four sides there's there's little bits and big bits and smaller bits and angled bits and so forth so um, it's going to be a bit of a mix and match of um, uh, solar panels, but it'll work. So that's me for now. Uru.